The next few tutorial videos will demonstrate the more advanced features of the drawing tools, starting with the manipulation tools. First of these is the select tool. After drawing the diagram, you can select any of the objects to resize, move or edit them. There are three ways to select objects. The first is by simply clicking them in the canvas. Press the shift key to select more than one object or deselect objects by clicking them again. The second way to select objects is to use a selection box. When no objects are selected, click and drag a selection box that will wrap around your objects. Any object that is completely enclosed by this box will become selected. The third option is to use the select all command in the edit menu. This will select everything in your diagram. The shortcut for this is Control A. If you press the Shift key now, you're able to deselect any of the objects. If a single object is selected, there are three things you can do to manipulate it. The first is to resize it by dragging the markers at the ends, corners or junction points. Secondly, move the object by dragging from the middle to a new location. Thirdly, Rotate the object by clicking on the green rotation circle. If you press the shift key whilst rotating the object, it will snap to the nearest 45 degree angle. You can also delete objects by pressing the delete key or right clicking and selecting the delete command. Selected objects can also be cut, copied and pasted. If you copy then paste an object, there are now two of the same object in the canvas. Another important aspect of selecting is layering. At the moment this dimension line is behind the handrail at the front. If you select it and right click, you can bring it to the front, send it to the back, bring it forward one layer or send it back one layer. In this case we'll bring it to the front. You will notice that the dimension is now in front of the handrail. For sending it to the back we'll put it behind the rail again. Finally, you can edit text. If text is selected, you can move it around to a new location or edit the existing text by right clicking, selecting the edit text command, then changing the value and clicking outside of the text box to finalize your edit. The final way to edit selected objects is to change the parameters in the parameter bar. For instance, we can make this text bigger by changing the parameters or make it bold or change the font. With this rail we could make it wider, making the lines thicker or even change the internal colour to make it stand out. In the same way you can change any of the parameters of the objects in your canvas. Another manipulation tool is the hand tool. This is used to pan around your canvas. As you are panning, the dimension box will show you how far you have moved from your original location. The other major way to control your canvas is to zoom in and out. You do this by changing the scale factor. The larger the number in the scale, the more you zoom out of your diagram. The smaller the number, the more you zoom in. The plus tool is only associated with the bathroom floor plans template. It is used to add fittings and rails to your template. The final manipulation tool is the crop tool. To use this tool, simply click and drag around your canvas to create crop markers and then adjust these markers to set the crop boundary to your desired location. Once you've finalized your crop boundaries, press enter to crop the diagram. At any point you can reset your diagram to remove this crop. 